Hello folks. Well, if you needed any more evidence that the UN was an evil globalist front group that uh, was capable of mass murder, here it is. This is just developing, just coming out within the last hour. How the UN created an epidemic and then covered it up. Uh, supposedly, they create, accidentally uh, set loose a cholera epidemic in Haiti, uh, which spread like wildfire because Haiti is the uh, the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. You know, very bad sanitation. So something you know gets started there, it's just going to spread like wildfire. And and then the UN had the audacity to cover it up that it wasn't their fault. Story still developing. I'm sure it's going to get some mainstream attention from Alex Jones and Drudge Report within the next couple of days. Here we go. Nanny Bloomberg saying that uh, he's going to restrict uh, painkillers that are given out at hospitals under the disguise that oh it's uh, because we don't want uh, it to be abused. Well, sure, but it just goes to show that uh, this little mini Mal Bloomberg and the whole nationwide incremental uh, nanny state just slowly coming in poking you at all different angles with guns with you know restricting painkillers I mean they're coming at all angles here it's not just guns it's you know everything they want to control you know every part of you everything you do they want to control and know to give you an update on the FPS Russia story uh, this is the man behind it this was the man that was killed supposedly tied up to a chair tortured shot in the back of the head uh, and a, a little short article I'll probably should take the time to read that uh, and they're saying that something pretty strange that this man had guns wherever he went it was a little weird that he didn't defend himself and they think that he might have known the people who actually killed him you know might have been an inside job still of course still developing and I'll update you when more news come becomes available look at this here I thought this was pretty funny Mexico saying that you should change gun laws uh, because Mexico is such a great place to live in. Mexico is such a paradise. You know, they have the highest crime rate, highest you know, death uh, rate in the world. They their country is pretty much controlled by the drug cartels. They have a complete gun ban. You know, it's a hellhole, folks. You don't want to live in Mexico. And they're saying that we should not have. We should have a assault weapons ban. Yeah, because Mexico is such a great place to live in. If you want to go to one website that is at the forefront of the anti-gun, leftist, globalist propaganda, go to Mother Jones. I mean, they are just so sickening. But say, even going as far as denying that Hitler didn't want to take guns. How do you think that Hitler uh, was able to go forward with the Holocaust? He took the Jews' guns. Do you really think a Holocaust would happen if the Jews were able to defend themselves? No. I mean, they are just so sickening. I mean, I just go to Mother Judge to get laughs because if you want to go to get real news, I mean, jeez. Biden hints at outlawing unregulated private gun sales. I don't really see how he's going to be able to do this. I mean, it's right there, private. Uh, you can't really, um, unless they put a camera in everybody's houses and, you know, monitor their phones, it's kind of hard to uh, ban things like. Uh, private gun sales. I mean, if I would give a gun to my brother, or if somebody would give me a gun as a gift, or under the table, I mean, it, it's just hot air. It seems like from Biden. This is coming out here. Obama exposed uh, opposed a gun ban exception to defend one's home back when he was a state senator in Illinois. So what he's saying is, it's not good. You can't defend yourself from intruders coming into your home but it's okay for him to have secret service protection for life yeah that's right Obama just reinstated the lifelong secret service protection because back in 1996 a law was created that all former presidents uh, would only have 10 years of secret service protection after they left office well Obama has just decided that no I'm gonna have Secret Service protection for life with an executive order. And to uh, the daily drone strike update, this is uh, coming out here that supposedly 348 drones were approved for domestic use, and that's only what they are saying. That's only what the federal government is admitting. Who knows how many are in the skies that 
you know we don't know about that are armed I mean there could be thousands there could be tens of thousands there's no real way to know but it turns out that a lot of small communities a lot of states um, are opposing this ten state legislatures are opposing the use of camera equipped unmanned aircraft in the United States and they should rightly do so I mean people are waking up here I'm happy to see this I mean like I said before the only way you can fight these people is you know by waking up as many people as you can because there's power in numbers and the more people that know what's going on the better chance we have fighting this totalitarian globalist takeover of the United States God willing I will make a new video tomorrow